What's up guys? So after having the Smart Carp for about a little over a year and I've been really happy with the Smart Carp. It has delivered on what it promised and today I'm going for quite a challenge. I'm going to do 320 kilometers, around 200 miles of just trail and enduro and I thought to myself, okay, last time I did a pretty good test on the mileage but it was only 100 kilometers, so 60 miles. It gave an idea, a rough idea, a good idea, but I figured that today it's gonna to be probably the ultimate test for the smart car to understand how good can the mileage go uh, on a single day. I'm running the latest uh, smart car. Uh, we have been closely working with, uh, with Smart Carb regarding the, the tuning and uh, everything, honestly, have been fantastic. I've been running for a while the DF11 rod, which is really good for hard enduro. It gives a really strong bottom end, uh, but we discussed and uh, we decided to go with the AQ11, which it's a, better, it's a bit better for flowy trails like this one. And so we're going with that one. It looks a really promising test and honestly, if you're on the fence on the smart car regarding the mileage, stay tuned. So guys, mega challenge ahead, more than 300 kilometers on a single day. And I think it's worth pointing out that days like this or challenges like this are one of the things that you can do to allow all of the small variations uh, of a test to be minimized and I think that with so many miles on a single day it it's, gives a lot of reliability on what I was doing. As you can see uh, the day wasn't only just flat out riding we also had moments of hard enduro so we managed to go through a bit of everything uh, and the day helped that as well it wasn't only a sunny day and a dry day it was as you can see really damp moist and we had a bit of everything from sun rain uh, fog cold hot and even with the altitude variations we had that a bit as well so literally everything that the weather could throw at us we had that Honestly, it's one of the most reliable tests that I've ever done on a bike, and I think it's just worth mentioning it. Let's see how much it spent on the first 50 kilometers. Not much. <laughs> 3 liters and 60 I also wanted to share with you the setup that I was running on with the bike so meaning the smart car obviously uh, the forks uh, are not the standard one I had some KYB ones but everything else engine wise nothing's changed I was running tubes so that also provides some possible differences that a lot other people might have because if you have a bigger weight on the back wheel it will increase the mileage or it will decrease the mileage meaning that it will um, spend and burn more fuel to keep the heavier wheel rolling and uh, while accelerating for example so I don't know how much that can influence the end result but at least you know that I was running tubes and yeah obviously it's a huge risk uh, usually when I do this I have um, an extra air chamber uh, to to change on during the ride if I end up having a puncture it isn't ideal because I have to bring all of the irons to change the tire and the tools to remove the back wheel and whatever which bring a lot of weight to myself essentially I'm almost certain that I have additionally 15, almost 20 kilograms of weight um, besides my weight, so I know that it takes a toll on it. So if you had the, the idea that I was running light, I am not, definitely not.
If you're watching from outside Portugal, uh, I can imagine that you might be watching this and seeing like, oh my freaking god, so many nice trails, and it is, it is. Uh, to be honest, it's one of the reasons why I haven't left Portugal. <laughs> it's because I can ride freely, as you can see, pretty much anywhere. Most of them are public and it is not illegal to ride dirt bikes as long as you have a registration number, the, the bike is as a license plate, you are insured. If those things um, are met, you won't have any issues in Portugal, which is really nice. Uh, it's one of the small freedoms that this country allows us to, to have and uh, something that I've several times thought about it and not willing to give up. Isto aqui, mesmo que, mesmo que nós quiséssemos, não conseguimos fazer igual. Olha, 8,48, aliás, 4,58. E agora vamos aqui à bomba onde o Pedro atestou. E pimba, 4,58. Nem de propósito conseguimos fazer isto. <risos> To give you some context on why these values can be so close, it is not specifically or not only because my bike has a smart carb. Actually, Pedro's TPI 300 is reflashed, and so uh, his values are a bit up compared to regular TPIs. He is a mechanic, a really knowledgeable mechanic. Uh, I really give him kudos for the path he has, that he has done. The reason why he chose to do that is because he understood that uh, although KTM values of the mileage and uh, the, the ECU, how it is reflashed, allows them to have some uh, values within the EU uh, standards, uh, it does not allow or provide the maximum reliability uh, according to his liking. Meaning that the bike it tends to be, or the KTM bikes or TPI bikes tend to be a bit lean, he is willing to sacrifice the mileage in order to have a bit more performance as well, but also more reliability because the engine tends up to be richer and so it prevents some unnecessary wear that he knows that he can uh, mitigate. Penultima paragem de gasolina. What the fuck? 4,48. Isto está a fazer uns consumos porreiros, aliás, a moto gastou exatamente a mesma coisa que a do Pedro. Está reprogramada, mas de qualquer maneira, valores interessantes. In one moment we are going flat out and uh, a few miles later, we are stuck in the nastiest of trails. And so we had literally a bit of everything. Uh, the last uh, fuel stop I did not record because honestly, we were already dead uh, and I just want to go home. I just uh, saved uh, the receipt. And so that brings uh, mileage to 7 liters 49 uh, on 100 kilometers, which is a really damn good value. And uh, to be honest, Managing to do such a good mileage value with a fully mechanical 300 two-stroke bike, it's ridiculous. It's a real testimony to what the smart car can do in terms of mileage and um, brings considerable upsides on the bottom end. Uh, the only reason why I haven't thought about changing to a four-stroke yet is because I have this bike pretty dialed for my needs and why change was not broken. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to keep up with uh, my adventures and off-road engineered videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.